for all of the work that's going into this. It is National Milk Day, and we can't think of a better way to celebrate than with the cows that make the milk because we couldn't celebrate without them, which is why Claudia is over at the MSU Dairy Center right now to give us a sneak peek into the life of a Michigan dairy farmer. Claudia, what can you tell us? Yeah, so it's actually really hard to believe how much these little ladies are working. And we're actually in the ladies' lounge, so these ladies have just got off the clock. They're done working, they're lounging around, but really they work so hard and so do the farmers that take care of them. We can't even imagine how much work and time they put into it if you're not a dairy farmer. But I am with someone who knows all about the world of dairy farming, Jolene. Yes. Your family actually has a dairy farm in West Michigan. Tell yes. us a little bit about that. Yes, so my family has a farm about the same size as the MSU Dairy Farm in Western Michigan. We're bracing for the storm tomorrow. <laughs> and I also have the honor of working on behalf of Michigan's almost 900 dairy farm families and helping them tell consumers about the goodness of milk and how great cows are. Yeah, so what does your work look like? Um, what is your day to day? What work are you doing to you know better the life of cows and the research yeah. yeah so michigan's dairy farmers are taking care of their cows through rain through snow through the heat and really that milk for all of us to enjoy from the calves that jim showed to the adults here and then my team at united dairy industry of michigan we get to talk to school children about dairy farms and take them on tours we get to go to events and we can provide milk and cookies and ice cream and we provide recipes and we just talk about the goodness of milk and how everyone can enjoy it yeah so when we talk about you know these dairy farms we want to have them but to mm -hmm. have them here we have to support them yes. so what way just in the everyday like day-to-day -day life what can mm -hmm. michiganders do to better support dairy farmers and these beautiful cows yeah i love that question so thank you for asking and thank you for everyone who purchases milk and cheese and yogurt and cottage cheese and ice cream and the list could go on and on. That's the biggest way to support Michigan dairy farmers. We are living and growing up in the same communities as, as our, our community members, as our neighbors. And so by supporting and purchasing those foods, you're helping to support Michigan's dairy farmers and then asking questions. We know that there are a lot of questions about cows and what do they do and what's, you know, what, what about the milk and how does it get to us? Dairy farmers love to answer those questions, and we are always happy to bring people and show them dairy farms. Absolutely. So I think there's a lot of you know questions about dairy mm -hmm. farms, how they function, even the cows themselves. Yeah. What is something that you wish people knew about the work you do and the dairy farm industry? Yeah, I really wish that people knew how much we care. Uh, dairy farming is an everyday job. It's 365 days a year. It's on your birthday. It's on all holidays. It's in the middle of a snowstorm and a blizzard. And so you really love what you do. You love caring for the cows and watching them grow from the calves throughout their life to giving us milk. You really love being able to plant the crops that they are going to eat for that entire year and watching them grow, watch and working with different people in the community. It takes a team to care for our cows. So veterinarians and dairy nutritionists and electricians and plumbers, like we really do support our communities where we live. Absolutely, and where can people find information about um, you know the work you do and yeah. how they can better support you? Yeah, absolutely. So our website is milkmeansmore.org. We're also active on Facebook and Instagram and all of the social media channels, YouTube as well. We have a lot of dairy farm videos and tours there. If people can't come out to a dairy farm, there are ways that they can see and they can ask us questions. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, thank Jolene. You. I really appreciate this conversation. I appreciate all these lovely ladies <laughs> around here. We're still on our little lounging break, though. Mm -hmm. So we're going to send it back to the studio with Rochelle Nicole.